How do social expectations influence the diversity of sexual orientations? What are the most common myths about masturbation and how can they affect our sexual health? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Social expectations influence the perception of the diversity of sexual orientations. Cultural, religious norms, and conformity pressures can stigmatize non-heterosexual orientations. Lack of positive representation in media and education contribute to discrimination. It is necessary to debunk myths about masturbation to promote a healthy view of sexuality. Masturbation is normal and safe. It does not cause weakness or mental or sexual health problems. It can be enjoyed at any stage of life, and unlinking it from stigmas contributes to a more positive and unbiased perspective. Anal sex and pregnancy. Anal sex does not lead to pregnancy, but it is important to practice contraceptive methods if the couple does not wish to conceive. Ancient history. Sex toys have a long history dating back thousands of years. Artifacts have been found from ancient Greece and Rome that are believed to have been used for sexual stimulation. Anorgasmia and couples therapy. Couples therapy can be beneficial in addressing communication issues, unrealistic expectations, and conflicts that may contribute to anorgasmia in a relationship. Anorgasmia and social stigma. Social stigma associated with anorgasmia can make it difficult for people to seek help or support, prolonging emotional suffering and frustration. Antibiotic resistance. Some bacteria that cause STDs, such as gonorrhea, are developing resistance to commonly used antibiotics, making treatment more difficult. Aromatherapy. Using essential oils and aromatherapy during foreplay can stimulate the senses and create a sensorially rich experience, contributing to a deeper state of relaxation and arousal. Atypical symptoms. Sometimes, STDs can present atypical symptoms that may be confused with other conditions, making accurate diagnosis difficult without specific tests. In indigenous communities in Australia, sex education may be integrated into the teaching of Aboriginal history and culture, transmitting knowledge about sexuality in a contextualized and respectful manner. Balloon fetishism. Some individuals experience sexual arousal from inflating, touching, caressing, or even popping balloons. Finding the sound, tactile sensation, or visual appearance of balloons sexually stimulating. Body confidence. Feeling confident and comfortable in one's body can greatly impact a woman's willingness to experiment with different sexual positions and embrace her sexuality more fully. Body exploration positions. Some women enjoy sexual positions that allow them to explore and caress their partner's body in more detail, increasing the sensation of connection and mutual pleasure. In Brazil, Specific sexual education programs have been developed to address HIV-AIDS prevention in indigenous and Afro-descendant communities, recognizing social and ethnic inequalities in sexual and reproductive health. In certain states in the United States, such as California, inclusive sex education programs have been implemented that address gender and sexual orientation diversity, as well as consent and prevention of sexual harassment. Celebration of diversity. The Kama Sutra acknowledges the diversity of desires, preferences, and human bodies, fostering an inclusive attitude towards sexuality that values the uniqueness of each individual and relationship. Cervical sensitivity. Some women experience sensitivity in the cervical area during certain sexual positions, which can cause discomfort or unease if penetration is too deep. Clear head phenomenon. After orgasm, some people experience a sense of mental clarity, known as the clear head phenomenon. This may be due to the release of endorphins and stress relief. Co-infection. It is possible to contract more than one STD at the same time, known as co-infection, which can complicate treatment and increase the risk of long-term complications. Communication and trust. 
Foreplay is an ideal time to strengthen communication and trust between partners. Openly discussing desires, boundaries, and preferences can enhance the sexual experience and emotional connection. Comprehensive sexual education. Comprehensive sexual education addresses a wide range of topics related to sexuality, including anatomy, reproduction, healthy relationships, consent, contraception, and prevention of sexually transmitted diseases, with the aim of promoting healthy and safe sexuality. Conscious breathing. Practicing conscious breathing during foreplay can help women connect more deeply with their bodies and sexuality, increasing feelings of relaxation and pleasure during sexual activity. Conscious breathing. Practicing conscious breathing during foreplay can help women relax, increase sensitivity, and connect more deeply with their body and sexual sensations. Continued research. As the factors contributing to premature ejaculation are better understood, researchers continue to develop new treatment and management methods for this common sexual disorder. Couple therapy. In cases of anorgasmia affecting the couple's relationship, couple therapy may be beneficial for improving communication, addressing underlying issues, and finding joint solutions. Courtesy and respect. Mutual respect and courtesy are essential in a relationship. Treating others with respect and consideration is often seen as attractive. Cultural differences in sexual expression. The way sexual fantasies and fetishes are expressed varies widely among different cultures. What may be considered taboo in one culture may be accepted or even celebrated in another. Cultural diversity. Pornography reflects a wide cultural diversity, with productions varying according to the preferences and taboos of different regions of the world, providing a window into the sexual expressions of diverse cultures. Cultural taboos. In some cultures, fetishes and sexual fantasies may be considered taboo or even illegal. This can lead to marginalization or discrimination against people engaging in sexual practices considered uncommon deep sensations. Some women prefer positions that provide them with a sense of depth during penetration, such as missionary with their partner's legs elevated or doggy style with downward tilt. Demystifying romantic love. Open relationships. Challenge the conventional idea that romantic love must be exclusive and centered on one person. This can lead to greater understanding and acceptance of diverse forms of love and commitment. Diet and erectile dysfunction. A healthy and balanced diet can benefit erectile function by promoting cardiovascular health and maintaining a healthy weight. Foods rich in antioxidants, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can be especially beneficial. Diversity in sexual practices. Sexual practices vary widely among individuals and cultures, and what one person considers erotic or pleasurable may be different for another. It is important to respect the diversity of sexual expressions. Diversity of libido. Libido, or sexual desire, varies from person to person and can be influenced by physical, emotional, and social factors, as well as hormonal changes. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.